we go, we're losing self-control I keep telling myself, but I don't wanna let you know Is this what we become? Strangers on the run Looking for something, chasing the sun This is the 6th July 2018 build of official reception remix from 100B Note 5 Pro. And let me show you what's special here now and what are the things which has improved. Well, we have trust here, which is this new security thing of all custom ROMs. And the best thing is banking apps like this now works right away, even without flashing matches, which is really awesome. And I really have been waiting for it. So now let me just show you the about section. As you can see again, 6 July 2018 build and running on top of Android 8.1 but for some reason the security patch is still of June not July and just to inform you guys that I was previously on MIUI 10 875 global beta ROM so to the people who were afraid of anti rollback problem well on the 875 build well it's not present I guess I mean the anti rollback thing. So I just flashed the ROM as I do, just wiped cache, Dalvik system data and installed the zip and the gapps and rebooted just fine. So I did not face any issues while flashing the ROM coming from MIUI 875 global beta build. In terms of customizations, well as you guys know already, Resurrection Remix has been one of the most customizable ROM ever. We do have the status bar brightness control by sliding a finger on it. And you can change the whole UI color and accent colors from here and a hell lot more customizations are here I'm not gonna show you each and every one in this video because I did almost every customization video previously for which I will link a card on the top right corner of the screen and we have navigation and gestures up here and that is working super fine too as you can see once you enable a gestures the software buttons goes away and it works super fine as you can see and swiping up from the bottom once gets you to the home screen and swiping up from the bottom and hold will get you the recent apps panel. Swiping from the sides acts as back. You can customize the response time and the haptic feedback while doing the edge gestures. Inside display settings let me show you we do have double tap to wake and double tap to sleep as well on the status bar is present there. So let me show you a demo. And we do have this full screen aspect ratio for all the apps and all the apps does work at full screen, no issues regarding that. Well it's special here because the Redmi Note 5 Pro has an 18 to 9 display so to match that full display you have to turn this feature on to take advantage of the full 18 to 9 display with every app. Auto brightness is working fine and we do have smart pixels in this ROM. And 3 finger screenshot gesture is present over here and it's been working super fine. And the display looks yellowish as the live display is on. So let me just turn it off from toggles. And as you can see here scrolling small quick toggles are still there. Which is a really good feature of Restriction Remix. And these are the extra quick toggles that you can just edit and add over here in the quick toggles. And as easy toggle add is on so you have to just tap once to add or remove it Geo Vaulty is working super fine in this ROM and by default we have Trebuchet Launcher up here and as you can see we don't have the Google search option on top so you can just swipe from the left side and on top of the Google Now cards we have the Google search bar and voice search and every other thing like fingerprint scanner or even face unlock is working fine here too. And the fingerprint scanner response time is definitely not as super fast as MIUI but it's not slow either at all. It just works fine. Now let me open a few apps and show you the app open up speeds and the RAM management. In the meantime, let me tell you that considering the anti rollback issue of MIUI, I can totally live or daily drive with this restriction remix ROM as of now. Yes, you don't get a really good camera like MIUI 
but still you can just enable camera to api and enable google camera mods which gets the portrait mode job done really well the rom is liquid smooth gaming performance is great enough and i'll be posting the battery life later on twitter so do follow me there from the descriptions like and subscribe if you haven't yet until next time this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll see you in the next one